It will be part of an integrated system of transit ways, including connections to the Metro Blue Line, the North Star Commuter Rail Line, local bus services, and proposed future transit ways. The 15 new stations along the 14 and a half mile line will provide access to nearly 200,000 existing jobs and other services and destinations, and attract new residential and commercial development. The line's western end is Southwest Station in Eden Prairie, a major park and ride connection for express bus service. The existing park and ride will be expanded and the passenger drop-off area will be reconfigured. Leaving the station, the line will travel east on a bridge parallel to and then over Prairie Center Drive, passing the site of a planned future station near the Eden Prairie Center Shopping Mall. Underground infrastructure for this deferred station will be constructed along with the rest of the Southwest LRT project, with the station platform and facilities added at a later date. The line will continue along Eden Road and Flying Cloud Drive, cross Technology Drive at grade, and pass over I-494 on a new bridge. East of I-494, the line will run northeast between Flying Cloud Drive and Highway 212, crossing over Prairie Center Drive and the Highway 212 ramps on a new bridge and continuing along Highway 212. A new bridge will carry the light rail line over Nine Mile Creek and Flying Cloud Drive as it approaches the Golden Triangle area. Golden Triangle Station will serve the Greater Golden Triangle Employment Area and planned redevelopment. A park and ride facility, passenger drop-off, and bus connection area are included. The line will continue north on a new bridge, crossing over the Shady Oak Road, Highway 212 interchange. It will parallel the west side of Highway 212 on its way to City West Station. City West Station will provide access to the United Health Group's Optum Campus and its 6,600 new employees. The station will include a park and ride facility and passenger drop-off area. From here, the line will pass under Highway 62 in a new tunnel and enter Minnetonka. It will proceed north along Yellow Circle Drive and Bren Road East to Opus Station. Opus Station will include a park and ride facility, passenger drop-off area, and bus connections, and will support large office developments and housing. North of Opus Station, the line will cross Bren Road West at grade and turn northwest. The LRT line will pass under Feltel Road and Smetana Road, then turn due north along the Hopkins-Minnetonka border. The line will travel on a new bridge over wetlands and the Canadian Pacific freight tracks and pass the new LRT operations and maintenance facility. Entering Hopkins, the line will cross KTEL Drive at grade and arrive at Shady Oak Station. Shady Oak Station will include a large park and ride facility, a passenger drop-off area, and access to the Minnesota River Bluffs LRT Regional Trail and Cedar Lake LRT Regional Trail. From the station, the line will turn northeast and cross 11th Avenue at grade to reach downtown Hopkins Station. At downtown Hopkins Station, plans call for a pedestrian-friendly connection to Main Street with the plaza passenger drop-off area, and bus connections. The line will cross 5th Avenue at grade and pass under Highway 169, running parallel to the Canadian Pacific Freight Line. The LRT line will cross Excelsior Boulevard on a new bridge, while the freight line will remain at grade. East of Excelsior Boulevard, the freight tracks will move to the north, so that the LRT line can run south of the trail and freight tracks. 
Blake Station will include a park and ride facility, passenger drop-off area, and new access road with bus connection. The line will cross Blake Road at grade and travel northeast along an existing embankment. It will cross Minnehaha Creek on a new bridge. Approaching Louisiana Station, the line will cross Louisiana Avenue on a new bridge and descend from the embankment. Louisiana Station will include a park and ride facility, passenger drop-off, and bus connections. A new southbound freight rail connection will maintain the link between the two freight lines. The LRT line will continue northeast and travel at grade across Wooddale Avenue to Wooddale Station. Wooddale Station will include a passenger drop-off and bus connections. Recent transit-oriented residential development has already transformed this area. From the station, the line will cross over Highway 100 and travel at grade across Beltline Boulevard to Beltline Station. Beltline Station will include a park and ride facility, passenger drop-off, and bus connections. The station will support a mix of businesses and housing, potential new development, and the Excelsior and Grand area less than a mile to the south. The Cedar Lake LRT Regional Trail will cross to the south on a new bridge over the freight rail and LRT lines. East of the station, the line will gently curve north to leave St. Louis Park and reach West Lake Station in Minneapolis. West Lake Station will be below the West Lake Street Bridge with elevator and stairway connections to the street, a passenger drop-off, and frequent bus service. The area has a mix of higher density housing and retail and office uses. The line will enter a shallow tunnel under the Kenilworth Trail and Cedar Lake Parkway and emerge to cross the Kenilworth Channel on a new bridge. The line will continue at grade and pass under the Burnham Road Bridge to reach 21st Street Station. Just east of Cedar Lake, 21st Street Station will be a gateway to the regional trail network. Bus connections will be available. The line will cross West 21st Street at grade and parallel the existing freight rail line and the Kenilworth Trail. Penn Station will be alongside the Cedar Lake Regional Trail, and a new pedestrian bridge will connect the station, a passenger drop-off, and a bus stop at the top of the bluff. Continuing northeast, the line will cross under I-394 to Van White Station. Van White Station will be under the Van White Memorial Boulevard Bridge with passenger drop-off, elevator and stair connections to the roadway, and bus connections to serve existing destinations and a future mix of housing and employment. The station will connect to the Loose Line Trail and the Cedar Lake LRT Regional Trail. Continuing east, the line will pass under I-94. It will cross Glenwood Avenue and Holden Street at grade before entering Royalston Station. Royalston Station will serve the Minneapolis Farmers Market, the North Loop neighborhood, and future redevelopment. Leaving Royalston, the line will cross over 5th Avenue and 7th Street on a new bridge to reach Target Field Station. At Target Field Station, Southwest LRT trains will continue east as the Metro Green Line. Without changing trains, passengers will be able to reach Green Line destinations in downtown Minneapolis, the University of Minnesota, St. Paul's Midway area, the state capital, and downtown St. Paul. Riders will also be able to connect to the North Star commuter rail line and major bus routes, as well as proposed future transitways and bus lines. At any of the five downtown stations, riders will be able to transfer to the Metro Blue Line to reach destinations in South Minneapolis, the airport, and the Mall of America.
The Southwest LRT project will provide improved access to job centers and slow the growth of traffic congestion. Project funders include the Federal Transit Administration, the County's Transit Improvement Board, the State of Minnesota, and the Hennepin County